and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading. Uh, Cancer, I also do your weekly uh, you versus them tarot reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here. But Cancer, whenever it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. <laughs> and the cards just went everywhere, speaking of which, that's why I made that face. Um, uh, take the cards that resonate with you, Cancer, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, my beautiful Cancer. And if you find some cards that resonate for you in this re tarot reading, Cancer, be sure to get, let me know in the comments below which ones do. I don't know, I think that was a hair, honey. <laughs> let me know which ones do, Cancer, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And also, if you do find some cards that resonate, uh, Cancer, I'd really appreciate it to take if you were to take the extra time to uh, give this video a like and subscribe to support my tarot reading channel because it does help me out a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me. Um, and then finally, Cancer, my gosh, I put on some chapstick, honey, and I just have some, constantly feel like something's on my lips. <laughs> finally, Cancer, before we get into this reading, I just want to remind you that I don't feel like any tarot reading, any tarot card should tell you what you should do in your life. It should be giving you perspective. A tarot reading should give you perspective and something to consider but the final choice is yours to make because it's your life to live not mine and not anybody else's right so with that being said my beautiful cancer let's just get into this reading now okay so i unintentionally pulled a lot of cards for you and i usually well, let's get with this animal orc card and then i'll get into this other card that's a little bit risque honey um it's the first time i'm seeing it too uh we have the coyote spear for you cancer this week this is number 16 equaling to seven for numerology now the coyote coyote the coyote spirit cancer is the trust in divine detours so i actually really love this card this is the first time i probably pulled this card actually in this deck because it's probably my favorite card because this is how i always um speak in my readings cancer whenever i mean i guess because of my super optimistic nature cancer um i always see like a bump in the road an obstacle in your life um any type of detour as the wolf spirit says i see that as a uh like spirit trying to realign you a little bit trying to put you back on the correct path and it's kind of like the less you fight with spirit and like where they're trying to take you the quicker you can go through those detours the quicker you can get to uh where it is you're trying to go right because think about it in this way your spirit guides your ancestors guardian angels so and so forth my personal belief is that if you're going to have a belief system like believing in god or what i mean this is a completely different thing but i believe if these beings are around me and protecting me which i do i do believe my ancestors and all that are around me i have the thorough belief that they would prevent stuff from coming towards me if it was just going to do nothing but make me suffer and i feel like you should have that mindset this week cancer regardless of what's coming to you this week don't fall victim to it don't have any anxiety about it so honey let's just get into this other card real quick we'll probably put a pin on it after to be honest because i don't feel like it's relevant quite yet um in this general spread first I can't answer, but can we look at this King of Swords? Like, please tell me in the comments below, Cancer, because I've never pulled this card before. It's my first, it's it's from this deck, my newest tarot deck that I got from my beautiful friend. Um, but I'm looking at this card and I'm just like, okay, I don't know my, I know like most of my, most, no one's like under 18 for the most part under my channel, but honey, if you know, if you know, it just does not look like any kind of business should be on this card. Like, what kind of king are you? He's holding some type of sword and we'll leave it at that honey <laughs> if you know you know if you don't know then stop watching <laughs> no but let's get into this now i'm sorry uh we have the seven of earth now this card is why i really use the word anxiety for you my beautiful cancer because um i feel like you're kind of getting in your head this week or something comes to you that gets in your head potentially of where you're just like it kind of shakes you right you weren't anticipating on some level to be readjusted maybe something in your life didn't quite pan out in the way that you um anticipated so let's just i'm gonna use an analogy of like um 
a project, right? But this could be anything, right? I'm just going to use a project just to give the simplicity of the meanings of the cards and how they represent in someone's life. So with the Seven of Earth, this is a card of unnecessary worry. I like to view your mind as like a mental garden when this card comes in. And so those Seven of Earths, I like to view it in this deck, actually, because um, this is actually the Seven of Pentacles in other decks, but in this deck, it has its own meaning. I mean, for me personally, I've had this deck for like 10 years, so I have my own little relationship with this deck, honey. But um, when I see this card, I like to refer, use a garden as reference and see like the seven seeds as like the what you're being anxious about. And so you have like a mental garden. You're like growing fruit, trees, vegetables, honey, like you're growing everything. And then you have some weeds and those weeds thrive off of your anxiety, they thrive off with that energy. And those weeds, they just really c grow and like, you know, they bush out and they cover a lot of ground uh, cancer. And I, that's like those things, like, you know, maybe like that project where it's just like, you're stressing about this. Um, and then the more you think about it, the more it grows and just kind of, you lose sight of everything else that you're working on. And I feel like that might be what's going on cancer is like, you might be losing sight because of that divine detour that's happened. And I feel like it's only just because you're not aware of like the, that it was divinely made for you because this five of air comes in talking about an unwise choice. So, um, perhaps you've made like you could view it as like a mistake cancer, but the unwise choice could just simply be that something just didn't pan out or you didn't get the harvest that you anticipated with something my beautiful cancer. So we have the snow leopard coming in here, which says take some time out of your usual and spend out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. This is a card of putting things in perspective. After you take a blow to the ego, honey, cancer, you need to have some time to just like reassess, realign, right? This is a time for you to come up with a new game plan or to just take a step back, cancer, and to see where it is spirit's trying to direct you to. Don't don't fall, um, don't internalize what's going on right now. Don't um, feel victimized by the situation. Yeah, it can be difficult dealing with it right now, Cancer. That's not out of the question, right? Just because it's a divine detour doesn't mean that you're not going through some type of struggle and it's hard to go through. But just don't take it personally and just view it as being like, okay, like I have to like change the, make some edits, right? Revise. So getting into further, we have some more major arcana coming in for you, so, or in this case, archangels. Um, we have Archangel uh, Camwell, which didn't you get? Hold up. You got number 16 twice, actually. So you have <laughs> the 16 in the coyote speak, spirit equaling to seven, and the life experience Archangel Camwell, number 16 equaling to seven. So um, I'm not from, I don't think there's a 16, num I mean, I'm sure there's a meaning for each number and then saying whatever, but really kind of highlight, want to highlight just, um, number seven for you. So continuing on this life experience card, this is talking about a significant life event. This is talking about the detour cancer. This card, I'll even read it. It says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, which is what you're probably going through cancer time to spread your wings. So this is just really a card cancer of just like, um, you know, take this time to take this experience that you're going through. That's like, and just shed, shed your old skin really take this time and be like all right like you know this you can't bring this along that's fine you just take it off and keep it going right allow this to be a freeing experience for you rather than viewing it as a way of constraints or slowing you down because i don't feel like that's spirit's intention obviously right uh and then we have the star card number 17 so seven's really following you cancer but this would equal eight but i don't feel like eight's relevant i still like i only brought up this number <laughs> new number just because it's the same one as this one but i always just stay by the animal oracle cards for numerology but um the star card is the wish fulfillment this is getting you back on the right path cancer this is the intention behind it you know so you may be thinking right you you may be let's just say your project is um becoming famous cancer right and that's your goal and you feel like you need to be famous by being a dancer, a hip-hop dancer, right? And so you try to go into some type of competition, hip-hop dancing competition, end up getting knocked out or just like not taken, right? And you can take that as like a blow to the ego, which I mean, I guess it's just human naturally happens. But um, view this as a way where it's just like, you know, maybe that rejection may be leading you to a better opportunity down the road. I feel like it's just like they're trying to, steer trying to set you up for something better. You just, you don't have to make sense of it right now, but that's not your job, honey. Your job is just to make it through each day, right? Le let it, leave it to spirit to um, direct you to get you to the best um, path possible to get you to your goal as quick as possible, right?
So getting into the actual tarot, well, this, I guess getting into the circle tarot cards now, well, I guess we'll start with the King of Swords. Um, just honey. I mean, I'm not complaining personally, honey, but I know not everyone on my channel um, is into men. So, <laughs> but um, with this card, the King of Swords, um, usually this card, nothing to do with this imagery whatsoever. Um, this card is usually about like keeping um a controlled state of your mind cancer not really uh spiraling too much you know this is just time to be very controlled with your thoughts and emotions during this time keep yourself in check you know if you start going into a spiral this week which i can easily see happening when you're going through um, a bunch of anxiety stop it in its tracks be aware of what's going on um interestingly enough we have two different dawn cards and dawn in this deck would be the representation of pages and pages represents new beginnings so i mean <laughs> straight up just in this general portion which ended up being really long um it's just really emphasizing a new beginning um just in all-encompassing new beginning like rings or pentacles represents like that usually financial and just like your physical desires and just the stability and the cups re re refer to your emotional fulfillment um so beautiful like all-encompassing i feel like this shift is essential for you to um get to this new beginning that's probably better than what you uh were trying to go to in the first place right you may have like an idea in mind how you want your future to be but spirit has something else in mind that might be a little bit more beneficial for you cancer so <laughs> closing that out cancer now let's get into your rose the first row cancer is going to be a row speaking on my cancer's career and financial situations right those are just for um just all that and your second row is going to be my cancer's um social situations this could be romantic platonic business what have you just your social situations honey and then your last row is going to be on your just like final thoughts really clarifying thoughts to just round out the message and to close out the reading so let's just get started cancer with your career now now let's check the back of the deck the devil card so this is what we're going to be addressing in your work life right now the devil so this is a representative i mean it could be a person it could be habits i'm going to lean into habits just because cancer if you're new to my channel i'm all about holding ourselves accountable and for self-improvement right i feel like that's the best way to get some benefit from tarot readings is to be able to self-reflect and to improve our character so we're going to address this devil as a habit but it could be for a person you know you know again you know your situation honey so the tarot cards that i pulled for this is the queen of cups the seven of wands and let me can get this card shown the seven of wands as well as the two of pentacles so cancer when i see this type of dynamic the issue here is letting me know if there is an issue well i see there being an issue actually um the issue seems to be you're doing something that's not quite fulfilling or something in your um, work life is trying to impede on your personal well-being. This sounds so dramatic or like in a way that I really don't intend it to be, but it's just like something is, I just get this feeling something about your work life is kind of like draining you in a sense. It's causing some chaos in your life. It's causing this sense of, I mean, probably this turmoil might be addressing for a lot of my cancers, um, that we had in the general spread might be addressing like their work or financial situation because the seven of wands and the two of pentacles this is such a dynamic of like feeling like the world's out to get you um and the two of pentacles is like that chaotic life and being kind of forced or feeling or not forced into making a decision but you are needing to make a choice and right now i don't feel like you are making a choice cancer because there might still just be some resistance because um, you might be trying to not be redirected, right? So um, let's get into this. What clarify? What deck do you want to use to clarify? We use this deck. So let's get some clarification on this, my beautiful Cancer. See what the tarot cards have extra have to say. Is that even a complete sentence? <laughs> let's see what the clarifying cards have to say. See if there's any more detail that we need to talk about. There we go. Uh, so the clarifier that we have for your Queen of Cups is the Four of Wands. Uh, the clarifier for your, that doesn't matter actually. I feel like these are actually all just like one actual specific message rather than being clarifying for those. Um, so the cards that we have, Cancer, this is me keeping it real, honey. This is all about the intuitive reading. Um, that's why I don't like spreads usually. 
because I don't like being limited. Uh, no one asked. <laughs> Uh, so we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands, and then the Four of Pentacles. So interesting dynamic. Uh, with this, this is letting me know of... Um, it lets me know, Cancer, that you definitely were probably putting your eggs all in one basket with some type of social situation, or you're wanting to. Obviously, if you... This is because here's the thing. Either you've been holding out on this thing that you've been wanting to invest in, you've been holding your pentacles waiting to make the right investment, or you already invested your pentacles into some type of four of wands moment hoping to get victory in regards to it. Now, with the Six of Wands here, this is a victory card, but I just get this sense, Cancer, for for you guys that if you're experiencing some type of shift in your work life, lean into it more because that's what's getting you to like this proper success. Um, if you're not experiencing any type of shift in your work life, then this is, I mean, this is just a beautiful like success. Continue fitting, uh, investing your pentacles into this situation because it's definitely four of wands, the 11, 11 card going to work out, right? So either way, either way that you look at it uh, for your cancer, for your life, a cancer, no matter which way it is for you, um, positive, just like lean it, whatever it is you're doing, lean into it more. <laughs> Essentially, don't resist, go with the flow of things. When you fight against the current, it takes a lot longer to get to the same place that you're going to end up anyways. So enough of that, my beautiful Cancer. Now let's get into your social situation. See what is up with that. Let's see. All right. So my social situations for my Cancer is the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and then the Lover's card. So Cancer, let's break this down a little bit. The Eight of Wands is all about that self-empowerment and finding your, tapping into your power, really. The Page of Wands is all about getting into like a new, new passion of some sorts. Lovers, I mean, I mean, we're talking about social situations and the lovers comes out, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? But it also could just be talking about a big decision. But I see some success regardless of some type of, uh, this, regarding whatever social situation that we're starting with tapping into before the clarifiers, I'm getting an idea, like, it's almost like you have the option to take things more serious with somebody. And again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it's just like, this like someone's, there's like some type of person presenting themselves to you that has the potential to go the long haul. The clarifiers that I have for you is the Judgment card, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what's impeding this, what's probably still, like not having this come quicker, is just because of some type of weight. The, with this Ten of Wands coming in with the Judgment, it could be like what's slowing this down is the not wanting to put yourself out there, not wanting to be vulnerable. Now this could be either or, this could be you, Cancer, this could be the person wanting to bring up some type of big question to you. Um, Regardless, it's, it is speaking of someone resisting or like, that's like their biggest issue is taking action to develop this connection further. Uh, with this Knight of Pentacles, it, it, like the Knight of Pentacles is a pretty slow uh, knight out of all of them. Um, and yeah, it's kind of just like, this in it, this spread in itself is just such a beautiful like storyline. These go so well together with what we were talking about. I don't know, my the little the geek tarot geek in me just appreciates how beautifully those cards flow together without even trying. You're noticing me looking around, Cancer, because I somehow lost an entire tarot. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what is with me right now, and y'all's reading Cancer, but. <laughs> It was like looking, it was like flipped over. So I was like looking for the backside of the color and I it was like this, the fool. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Well, I guess we can associate this back of the deck energy for this too. Cause it's like, if someone adopted the fool energy, um, and kind of just took a risk when, and communicated with this person, have like a, like an open conversation. I feel like an open conversation needs to happen. Um, it feels like just too much anxiety about anyone, any one party wanting to just make themselves vulnerable. Fool would be really, a, a beautiful energy to exude when it comes to this kind of thing. So let's just get some final thoughts now, Cancer, before we close out this reading for you. I love y'all's reading. Y'all's like, <laughs> I've probably had the most fun doing y'all's reading, Cancer, that I've had in quite a while. So, so thank you so much for joining me during this reading. Um, so final thoughts for cards. We have the Eight of Swords. This is what I was talking about before. Don't feel trapped in the situation, honey. You're doing just fine. Um, 
I feel like this is just the energy that you need to be overcoming, Cancer, is this Eight of Swords. Um, just go with the flow. Stop. Don't fight things this week, Cancer. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and then the World card all going together in the sense that I do feel like some, like the Six of Cups is usually talking about some type of offer, as well as the Ace of Pentacles coming in for you and whatever this offer comes in at i feel like something that you've been waiting for this for a while that's actually going to be pretty good for you um this could be in regards to that social situation that we talked about or it could be in regards to your career or it could be something entirely different regardless you already have an idea of what it would be what you would start seeing signs of it um progressing because this queen of pentacles is sitting there waiting expectantly expectantly expecting it <laughs> what is that word honey expectantly well i think i said it right but it just sounds like such a weird word um but yeah cancer that's the reading that i have for you um don't just don't fall victim you know just go with the flow of things honey and i promise you things are gonna turn out pretty beautiful for you cancer so uh if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot videos until next time my beautiful cancer i'll talk to you later